Hi there, and welcome to Pollywog Lagoon. I have some of these sweet little minions joining me, along with the Cars 3 crew. And we're going to read a story, Minions, Who's the Boss, as well as open up these big surprise eggs. See you soon. <clears throat> Might I make a special request? If you enjoy these videos, please click the red subscribe button so you can see many more to come soon. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, hello, Minion Tim and Cruz Ramirez. Are you guys excited to read a story today? <laughs> All right, Lightning McQueen and Minion Dave. Are you guys excited to open up some surprise eggs? Oh, yeah. Jackson Storm and Hula Jerry coming in hot. They're ready to get started, too. Okay, tourist Jerry, mm -hmm. what do you think we should do first? Surprise eggs or read a story? <laughs> oh, tourist Jerry, you want to open a surprise egg first? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that is the most fun part, isn't it? Okay, minions, you guys hang tight. The first egg we're going to open is the purple egg. We'll just roll it this way. Oh, yeah. Give it a little squeeze. Off comes the top. <gasps> oh my goodness. Who is joining the crew today? It's Tourist Dave. Let's bust Tourist Dave out of here. I bet he's excited to join his friends. And there's all these ones you can collect right here. Look how cute Lucky the Goat is. And Hula Dave, protesting minion, Tourist Dave. Jail Time Mel, Jail Time Tom, Jail Time Tim, Clive the Robot, Dolphus our Brat. There's Gru, hi Gru! And Drew, Gru's twin brother. Gru in Super Suit and Drew in Super Suit. Okay, little tourist Dave. He is so cute! His little straw hat to protect his head, his fanny pack, and his pink shorts. Oh my goodness, and of course, he wouldn't be a minion without his little goggles. We have one more surprise egg to open. Tourist Jerry, I hope you're ready. Whoa, this one's so big. And shiny, and pink. Bust it open, what could we have here? It's jail time Tom. Come on out of there, Jail Time Tom. Jail Time Tom has a big shovel to dig his way out of jail. It looks like he escaped already. And he has a black bandana with his little black and gray striped overalls. Hmm, he means serious business. I think he means serious business about reading this book we have. Okay, guys, do you know what time it is? It's story time! Yay! Okay. We're going to be reading Minions, Who's the Boss? Passport 2 to Reading. By Lucy Rawson, a Little Brown and Company book. Attention Minions fans, look for these words when you read this book. Can you spot them all? T-Rex, Caveman, Pyramids, and Banana. Yay! See these funny yellow creatures? They are called Minions. Minions are small and round. They go by many names, like Dave, Paul, Carl, and Mike. Each minion is different, but they all share the same goal, to serve the most despicable master they can find. Look at all of them here. They all have warm, furry coats on and goggles, but some of them only have one eye. <gasps> and look at his little hair. And some of them have two eyes. Minions have wandered the earth for millions of years, searching for the perfect villain to be their master. Masters were not hard to find, but they were hard to keep. Something always went wrong. Are they swimming? Looks like they're all floating. First, there was the T-Rex. Oh, is that our first word? T-Rex. The minions followed the mighty beast as he stomped through the forest. They scratched his back and they scrubbed his head. They sent him flying into a volcano by mistake. Whoops, said the minions. Uh oh, look at those T-Rexes. I'm um, 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 chompers. And... Ah, not such a good day for the T-Rex. Bad day. 
Next came the caveman. <gasps> There's another word, caveman. The minions helped him fight off wild animals. Well, most of the time. Is that a caveman with his club? And a caveman with a spatula and a bear. That does not look like a good combination. Uh-oh, I don't think that went very well. Minions have served some of the greatest leaders in history, or they have tried to at least. They built the pyramids in Egypt. Ooh, pyramids, another word. But they built them upside down and this caused the pyramids to fall right on top of the pharaoh. <sighs> oh, bad day for the pharaoh. See, all they had to do was build it that way, but instead they built it that way and it doop, tipped over. Then the minions made Dracula their master until they accidentally turned him to dust. Dracula. Dracula a la dust. Is that a little Dracula minion? <laughs> the minions moved from one evil villain to another. They never seemed to find their perfect fit. Once they stood by one of the world's fiercest and shortest generals. It turned out that the minions do not make very good soldiers. There is a pirate and a shark. Another bad day. Maybe not the right direction to point the cannon into the general. Uh-oh. Minions did not give up hope, no matter how often they failed, and they failed a lot. Finally, after being chased away by the little general's army, the minions built a new home. It was big enough for the whole tribe. It's like they built little homes inside little snowmen almost. The minions were safe, they were secure, and they had everything they could need. Planting a little minion flag. They are claiming their lands and singing little snow creams and a snowball fight. But still, something was not right. Without a bad guy to serve, they had no purpose. They became sad and aimless. The minions did not know what to do. <sighs> Aw, poor minions. Poor little guys. Such sad faces. But all was not lost, for one minion had a plan. His name was Kevin. Kevin would leave the cave and not return until he found his tribe, the biggest, baddest villain to serve. But he needed help. Buddies, said Kevin, g'day come ye. He called upon all of his fellow minions. Me coming, said Bob, the littlest minion. He was ready to help. From the back of the room, another hand went up. Stuart had been volunteered by his friend while he was napping. And so the three minion heroes got ready for their journey. Bob, a little minion. Oh, Stuart, sleepy Stuart, you do not know what your life faces. Dun, da, 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 three minion heroes, and they are ready. Kevin felt pride. He would be the one to save his tribe. Stuart felt hungry. He would be the one to eat his banana. Another word, and Bob. Bob was scared of the journey ahead, but as long as they stuck together, Bob knew everything would be okay. Pride. Banana. Scared. Let's go, cried the three minion friends. It was time to find the new despicable master. Dun, da, da. Any idea who that new despicable master might be? The end. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the story. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.